Hello there everyone, it's me again, Andrew. Um, if you remember my last video, a uh, bit wild, a bit wacky, do forgive me if I have a little bit of a hoarse voice, I do have a terrible cold today. And uh, what I really want to talk about is my army, the Castrati, which you might have glimpsed in my last video, as I said. Um, what can I say about it? It's basically done. This is my attempt at, you know, a full kind of rundown of my tactics and whatnot, my list that I've tried to build out of what was basically a spending spree of my birthday money. Um, so I'm going to run you through my troop choices first, and then the fast attack, then the elites, and then the HQ, um, and then the heavy support, and then I'm going to try and give you a sort of feel for how the army works and how I want it to be used. Um, this is the first troop's choice. It is the Castrati's just normal chosen Chaos Space Marines. I don't use the normal Space Marines, they're a bit useless, um, in my opinion, unless you want to bulk out your army. And I've got everything in Rhinos, so really, if you're not looking at chosen at least, it's not worth putting them in there. That's my opinion, if anyone wants to disagree with me, just argue about it in the thread. Please do. <laughs> um, they've got a plasma gun in there, if you can see it. Oh, completely, utterly screwed that one up. That's her, with the grenade. Um, the, also, in that troop of ten, there is Davia, the Chaos Sorceress. Um, and that Rhino is equipped with a Havoc Launcher. Everything is equipped with a Havoc Launcher in Miami. Uh, all the tanks, because it's just basically a free missile launcher, isn't it? Now on to the other two troop choices. Uh, these are my Noise Marines. They are my racks. I've bought another pack of them so I can have squads of seven now. I don't go with the uh, <coughs> belief that only a couple of them should have the, um, the, the Sonic Marine Blasters, or the Blastmaster. Because if you're paying 23 points a marine, why not just pay the extra five? Because that's what they're there for. Um, as you can see, Blastmaster, got the Doom Siren on his shoulders. Every single one of them has um, Sonic Blasters. They're all made out of the Dark Eldar Sprue racks. Um, because, you know, I just, I, I just really love the models when they came out. And not only that, think about Sinesh, which is like gimps. Um, if we zoom out, you can see I've actually got two squads of those, two squads of seven. And the reason behind that is, you just, I'm a fan of, you know, a lot of shooting. And those noise marine sonic weapons, they get three attacks each if you stay still. And two attacks on the assault. So, they're just lovely, really. And also, what's really good about these is, the Blastmaster, the Rhino, don't forget, has one fire point. So not only does the Sonic Blaster, I mean the, the Blastmaster get a shot out of the Rhino each turn, but the little Havoc Launcher on it gets to fight as well. Now, uh, I said I had three troop choices, I was lying, I just remembered that in my Chaos Land Raider there are my corn berserkers, which are actually Slaneshi sisters of battle. Sisters Repentia. I do like them. I think they're most lovely. One of my better ideas, which between you and me is saying something. To quote Dumbledore. <laughs> um, these guys, the reason that they're in the Land Raider is because if corn berserkers don't charge, they are completely and utterly useless. You might as well have had a squad of possessed. These things are combat monsters if they if they assault, because they've got Furious Charge, which upgrades their initiative and strength by two. Also in my army, not painted yet, <coughs> is um, a sister's hospitaller with the Cherisian backpack, which makes her, of course, Fabius Bile, which will increase their strength by one more, because I'll alter them. And let's face it, we're going up to strength 7 there, on the charge, with 2 attacks each, 3 for the Skull Champion, plus 1 for charging. What are you going to do? <laughs> They're going to cut through anything, literally anything. So that's all the troop choices gone. 
I'll give you a little look at that uh, Land Raider. It's a bit of a disappointment to me that we only have the um, just the Land Raider. I would really love a Crusader in mine. But alas, not allowed, because I do like legal armies, only using one codex. I know a lot of people mix and match, but bleh. Anyway, going on to Fast Attack. You're going to love these. These are my um, Chaos Space Marine Raptors. They're painted really just as they are in the uh, codex. Um, it says you only get the option to have the guy with lightning claws. I would change weapons, but to help me answer, I can't really ask. The lightning claws themselves, I don't add on him because it's not worth the uh, 25 points that you get for them. I'd much rather have a plasma pistol because, you know, they assault in, they're alright with the chicken swords. They're not going to kill anything like that. The real reason they're good is because they're fast attack and these two babies have melted guns. Two melted gun shots with six guys is pretty nice. So they will pop a tank. Chances are they will pop a tank. Excuse me, take a bit old. Ah. Anyway. Um, now we're going to go on to the elites. I've only got one elite choice in my army. And that is these guys. Who are my Chaos Terminators. Now, I know a lot of people say the Lightning Claw Terminators are the way to go. We can't do the Storm Shield and Thunder Hammer build. We just can't. It's beyond us. Apparently, the Chaos Marines just have never ever thought of using a shield. They just go, BAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAAA
But it's 100 points, um, it takes up one of your champions, because when it actually comes onto the field, some guy just goes, and uh, explodes, and that happens in its place. So really what I was thinking of, when it becomes available, if these guys are in close combat, <coughs> and there's only a couple of them left, immediately that puts them back up to full first. Uh, full first? Full force. Um, the tactics basically are, these guys go in first, Pop a tank or two, the deep strike. These guys come in second and bugger shit up in close combat, they assault. Well, they can't assault in the first turn, but they do have the Reaper Rush so they have some shooty shooting. Sometimes I deep strike them into cover, but I don't usually like doing that because there are six of them, so one of them is going to die. Um, then the Land Raider. The Land Raider is the core of it. It rushes people, disgorges its cargo of corn berserkers, they all run and then they kill everything. They literally kill everything. I say literally, I've not actually played with this army yet. It might be an absolutely crap idea, but I just want to go with it. Because I know a land raid, you can actually assault when you get out of it, which is amazing for corn berserkers. Um, I know a lot, a lot of people say put Abaddon with him, but... Uh, the, um, now, I know what you're thinking. You can't have um, a sorceress, a lord, and Fabius. So I swap out the sorcerer for Fabius and then put Lash on my lord. Um, so that's how it works. So you still get the same tactics, it's just with Fabius Bang. Um, yeah, these pound the crap out of the enemy at close range. They all roll forward under the cover of the rhinos. The rhinos provide cover for all the noise marines and all that who shoot, shoot, shoot. Um, these guys are usually objective takers. You just sit them on there and say, go to ground, one plus armor save, what are you going to do? Uh, or cover save, should I say? Um, that's basically the theory. There isn't anything major about it. Uh, I think I like them. I mean, I know I like them. I love them. This is the first time they've really been properly shown off. I do love the British Human. That's a Forge World one. Absolutely bankrupted me. But hey, completely worth it. I mean, just look at that. The detail. But in any case, um, after this I'll upload a couple of photos of the actual army for you to sort of scroll through. Um, look me up on Facebook, I'm called Andrew Rouster. Uh Give me a little message saying you saw my video on YouTube and not that you uh, just completely utterly found me a random because that will scare me. Um, rate and comment, please. I love it. I, I love to see comments. Um, anything nasty, just leave at the door. I don't need this. But, uh, yeah. Come on, Thank you very much for listening and watching. Have a good day. Or night. Or evening. Whatever you're doing. Kiss, kiss.